Hello everyone, my name is Talat Ajbekov and this is the video presentation of the task 2 Hotel Reservation Analysis by using SQL. So let's get started. First, let me introduce you with the dataset. As you can see here we have uh, 15 columns with different uh, information starting from booking ID which are individual reservation codes number of adults children number of weeknights number of week weekend nights and weeknights uh, preferred type of meal and reserved type of room lead time lead time means uh, days between booking and arrival at the hotel this is the arrival date marking segment type online offline as you can see how it was reserved uh, average price per room we have and booking status either cancelled or not cancelled so i was given 15 specific questions regarding this hotel reservation data set and let me show you how you how i solved and uh, got answers for this to these questions by using sql i was used uh, my sql program and i made snapshots to be more clear so first question is what is the total number of reservations in the data set so i simply counted uh, unique booking ids which are unique reservation numbers and from our data set hotel reservation and as you can see answer is 700 simple question let's go further and which plan meal plan is the most popular among guests here i used i also count uh, type of meal and made the alias as a quantity from hotel reservation grouped by the meal type uh, cal cal calculated the quantity ordered by quantity by descending from uh, highest to lowest numbers and uh, uh, made a, a restriction of limit one to have the most popular one which is meal plan number one with quantity 527 next question what is the average price per room for reservations involving children okay interesting question so here i use the average function of sql by averaging the price room and uh, filtered uh, by children so this common as you can see where number of children is not equal to zero and we see average price is 144.56 next question how many reservations were made for the year so i, I chose 2018 i again counted a unique booking id and made a filter of year and before doing that i casted a data type to suitable data type for year function by using command string to date chose the specific column formatted that data in that column and uh, filtered by year which is equal to 2018 and i've got uh, number 577 reservations was were made in 2018 next question what is the most commonly booked room type room type so we have a specific room type column which i again counted uh, grouped by a room type room type ordered by descending quantity starting from uh, highest to lowest numbers and made a limit one so as you can see see here the most commonly booked room type is number one with quantity of 534 next question how many reservations fall on a weekend so only on weekends so i again counted booking id numbers by uh, filtering of number of weekends which are uh, more than zero and here we can see the answer 383 next question what is the highest and lowest lead time for reservations okay interesting question but very simple solution we can use max and min function of the mysql 
so I simply made a filter use the max and min functions of four lead time column from the our data set and we've got max lead time 443 I think it's days or hours I'm not sure might be hours and then min lead time zero okay let's go ahead question number eight what is the most common market segment type for reservations so again we have market segment type column I simply counted it and grouped by market segment type ordered by this column again by descending and limit one to have the most popular one so we have online market segment type which was most popular among all other types next question how many reservations have a booking status of confirmed so i filtered the booking status column counted the booking status column by filtering uh, by using the confirmed booking status but as we can see there is no confirmed status there are only online only can um, cancelled or not cancelled if i'm not mistaken but there is certainly certainly no confirmed type so we have the zero next one what is the total number of adults and children across all reservations here we can we should consider total number of children and adults so i simply sum them up number of adults and children from our data set and we've got the number 1385 quite a large number next question what is the average number of weekend nights for reservations involving children okay more specific question involving only children which means we filtered with children more than zero and especially rooms booked only for weekend nights and we have the average by using the average function we've got the number one so answer is one question number 12 how many reservations were made in each month of the year also interesting question here i again used string to date first to make a suitable format of date then by using extract function i exactly extracted month from our date column called it as months and count a unique booking id from hotel reservation data set and grouped by each month and ordered by month again which means by default it's ordering ascending so from lowest number to highest so starting from 1 January February and ending by December number 12 and we have a specific quantity against each month next question what is the average number of nights both weekend and weekday nights spent by guests for each room type average number here we used again average function of number of weekend nights and weeknights from our data set and grouped by room type reserved and ordered by again room type reserved column for each room type so by doing this we've got the average number of nights per each room type as you can see from this snapshot next one for reservations involving children what is the most common room type and what is the average price for that room type so here again i count room type reserved may found the average price per each room type grouped by each room type and especially filtered against uh, rooms where uh, involved only children ordered by and limit by one uh, to have the most popular one so we can see the most common room type is one uh, with 
average price for that room is 123.12 and the last question find the market segment type that generates the highest average price per room so we've got the average function average price per room and grouped by market segment time type especially ordered by average price and limit one to find the most the highest price and we can see it's the market segment is online and the highest average price is 112.45 that was the last question thank you for your attention